Okay, so... What the fuck? Is this movie even real? I watched it and I'm not even sure. This shit was such a surreal experience where I feel like I had to just... I just got out of a coma after watching it. This is the type of movie where you go in one person and come out someone else. I am in complete and utter awe that this movie went through all the motions of film producing and was actually made. And by the way, this video is not a review. This is a rant because I need to scream about this movie to free my goddamn soul. But before you watch any further, I gotta ask if you aren't subscribed already, you totally should. Because I know damn well some of you watched my last vid and didn't give me a sub. But anyways, there's a lot to unpack, so I'm gonna cut to the chase and uh, list a couple reasons why this movie should not exist. Starting with the fact that a great ape is playing hockey. A great ape is playing hockey. First we had Air Budded, which was already an incomprehensible mess. And now this? This? A chimpanzee is one of the most evil and brutal animals on the planet. They have ripped people's faces off, people's balls off, and straight up murdered people on multiple occasions. Did you know that chimpanzees have seriously injured over 280 people since 1990? But yeah, let's make a chimpanzee play a very physical and aggressive sport like hockey, where one of the main skills you need to learn is how to send someone to the bowels of hell with a body check. The chimp totally won't go berserk and rip a teenager's balls off and eat them on the fucking ice. Shit. The reason they have to explain this is that chimpanzees are humans' closest relatives. So fucking what? What's next? Are we gonna let gorillas participate in the WWE because they're close relatives to us? And why the hell do other players just accept this goddamn wild animal onto their team? And why do the, do the enemy teams just guard him and treat him like a normal player? Again, it will tear your fucking dick off. If my coach tells me to guard this savage beast on the ice, I am quitting and going home. Now beyond the sheer stupidity of the premise, how does the chimpanzee just know how to play hockey? We get a montage of the chimp taking slap shots at record speeds, which he just shouldn't be able to do on a biological standpoint. He then suddenly learns about offsides, penalties, advanced passing maneuvers, and just figures out how to do perfect one-timers without any practice at all. I've played hockey for like six years, and I still can't do advanced passes. He also just learns how to skate in five seconds, where I couldn't skate properly until like two months of practice. Why is a monkey showing me up in hockey? So in conclusion, a great ape is playing fucking hockey. I am certain that the writers have no idea what hockey actually is and only know that you have to get the puck in the net to score points. These kids are absolutely demolishing each other. Even though hitting is a big part of hockey, there are moments where opponents literally just punch others in the face and at the face off, which is just not fucking allowed. There are multiple examples of tripping, icing, offside, and even some of the players literally deck a motherfucker while they were sitting on the bench. You can't do that. Are the refs even there? And worst of all, the final big goal straight up has one of their teammates tackle and hold down the goalie. The writers could have at least had some amateur hockey players explain some basic rules. This movie portrays hockey as basically a bloodbath on ice where sometimes you can score. In regular hockey, people hit when it's necessary to gain possession, to intercept a pass, or to stop a breakaway. Some of these kids leave the play and just go ram the fuck out of some random guy chilling by the wall on his own. One of the kids in this movie literally had to get dragged out of the arena by his feet because he was basically dead. This is minor league hockey. Speaking of representation, these characters are some of the most cookie cutter Canadians in movie history. One of the characters is literally named Moose. All of the characters spout A every 10 minutes, which pisses me off, and if this movie took place in Saskatchewan, I would understand the accents, but this movie takes place in British Columbia, where we pretty much speak like Americans. Just to clarify, I'm not at all offended by this because I ain't no snowflake, but I just think it's really stupid. So in a nutshell, this movie attempts to understand Canadians and their culture, but just fails miserably. My main problem with this movie isn't the plot. It's not the shitty representation, but it's just the complete unoriginality. The writers just thought, what if we did Air Bud, but with Monkey? It's honestly the same exact movie, except they switched out key elements as in the animal that plays the sport and which sport he plays. 
the plot is basically the exact same thing where an animal inexplicably becomes excellent at sports so they let him play and he wins. It's a shit movie, but worst of all, it's not even original shit. It's the same shit we see all the time with movies, directed towards kids. And what bothers me is that the people that made this movie are the same people that made Air Bud. Th they ripped themselves off. It shows that some companies are willing to sacrifice quality for money since they made 200 fucking Air Bud movies and turned this shit into a trilogy. Now I'm not gonna act like Air Bud was any better than this garbage, but even though it was, but I think that companies should worry more about making quality kids movies instead of feeding us the same shit over and over again. Alright, that got way too serious for this type of video, but uh, moving on. MVP was an absolute fever dream. It was incomprehensible, nonsensical, and completely and utterly stupid. It has disgraced Canada and the entire sport of hockey in a way so insulting, it got me a little offended. I have a burning hatred for this movie because above all else, MVP showed me how far companies will go to sacrifice originality for money. And that notion is still practiced today with an increasing trend of unoriginality in Hollywood where we get reboot after sequel after remake. I am glad I watched it though because it gave me quite a good laugh, so if you want to watch it, watch it with someone you can make fun of it with. In case you guys haven't noticed, I got a new mic. I am planning to order a pop filter soon to make my sound quality even better and hopefully make higher quality videos. If you like my video, make sure to like, subscribe, or even leave a comment with a video suggestion since I struggle a lot with coming up with new ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye.